Years ago, photographers may not have been deemed artists. For way back when, artists were generally white males painting beautiful landscapes with the tranquil colors of blue and green, which were aesthetically pleasing to the elite upper class. Until the 1800s, this traditional form of art was standard and expected. Around the 20th century, the art of photography pulled people from their art comfort zones by capturing shots of real issues and producing and reproducing them quite rapidly. Photography has become a prominent country inside today's art world. Not only can say everyday people contribute to photography's history, but it's a whole new platform for artists to express their creativity. Silver Eye Center for Photography has brought this creativity to Pittsburgh by showcasing local as well as international photographers through ever-changing galleries right in the center of Southside. Studying the photography now shown, one can see that this type of art has broadened horizons and opened minds to what can be captured and frozen in time. Yes, anything can be painted, but no eye can capture all that a lens can. Every artist, through lighting techniques and precise composition tactics, wears their heart on their sleeve through their photographs. The motto is that the center is for everyone, not just photographers. In that role, we help inform our audience about trends in the field, about the history of the medium, and about some of the strongest work being done in our region and more, says curator and executive director Linda Benedict Jones. That being said, one can see that photography is more than just an art to be viewed at an uppity museum. It's more than only to be viewed by the art elite who understand the deep meaning. Jones even states that guests and visitors often leave comments saying how they experience a kind of awakening about the potential of photography after visiting Silver Eye. Jones states that Silver Eye is the primary venue for the serious presentation of the photographic art in Pittsburgh, which is the main reason she decided to become a part of the center 15 years ago. The physical architecture, as well as the business behind the organization, reads serious and high quality. This prestige should not turn people away, who fear they don't have the proper education or understanding, because like Jones said, it's a center for everyone. And this shows in the new works gallery located in the rear of the building. Every month, this section gets overturned, always featuring two photographers. The interesting fact is those showcased in this back exhibit are actual Silver Eye members. So mixing that with the sometimes internationally known artist featured in the front main gallery, as well as the new works gallery online featured on the web, shows just how well-rounded Silver Eye is. Any artist or person with a creative niche knows that there is magic in art, which radiates out of whatever medium is being used. And unlike what some traditional people may think, through these developments of technology, such as photography, the after effects are no less fantastical.